Hi everyone, I'm Aaron Burrell, and I recently sat down with Rock Nation and New Haven's own Tremaine Mighty Midget Williams, ahead of his upcoming fight with Christopher Martin at the Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas on June 17th. Tremaine will be fighting on the undercard of the Andre ward Sergey Kovalev fight in just his second fight after two and a half years away from boxing. The undefeated featherweight has long been touted as the next big thing in boxing, with the likes of two-time former world champion Chad Dawson personally backing Williams. We got the chance to discuss his career to this point, issues he's faced outside of the ring, along with the highly anticipated bout with Martin. My name is the mighty midget Tremaine Williams. I've been doing this like since I was nine, so I mean, I'm 60, 70 percent of my life. So this like it's normal. I'm showing you who I am. So I can't word it or put the right vernacular behind it or vocabulary behind it and word it the right way. But in the ring, I could do it. I'm free. It's a total expression of who I am. I did this for love, kind of. It sounds weird. Nine-year-old kid boxing for love. I, people loved me, and when I went to jail, it was no more love. It was just like that's just for me. But I, would, I don't know about being just Tremaine. I know about everybody kind of putting boxing before me. I'm the midget, I'm the midget. I'm never Tremaine. I miss, I miss the love, the joy, the freedom, the, the, the ability to express myself, to do boxing, I express myself. I can be in a ring boxing and y'all quiet, but I'm not saying one word, but I'm expressing myself. And you see it through the pain, the happiness, the joy. It's, it's kind of weird, but um, but while you're going through it, you don't understand. You're like, why me? Me, I'm a good person. But maybe it's something bigger in the future, I don't know. I went back to jail three times. I went back to jail twice and I went for initial time for that first time. So the first time I came home and then I fought Danbury, everybody came back, it's like all oh, love. The second time I got signed to Rock Nation and then I went back to jail. So now people are still like, yeah. This last time I went to jail, oh my God. No money, no commissary, no nothing. It was crazy, I was in there getting fat, not working out, nothing. That was like, everybody, was, that's really showed me it. people don't care. First two times they came back kind of because they're like, oh, it, it might not be over. This third time they're like, it's over. They're going to drop him, it's over. So I learned this last time. It took me three times to go to jail to learn that. I'm going to show them I'm here. I've been going for a little bit, so a lot of people forgot. They're like, who is this kid? But the boxing world knows exactly who I am. So I'm just coming back to show, like, listen, I'm back. Remember me? That's what I want. That's, I guess that's what you can see. We're really going to be uh, ready to see. I'm back. 